This is why I don't like Indiana, bro. Look at that. What is this? What is up, guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today's gonna be kind of random. I just decided I'm gonna vlog a trip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going to here in a bit. So we're gonna be going down to Indy. An hour away from Indy, there's a ski resort. So yeah, this is gonna be my first time skiing. Hopefully, that'll be fun. So yeah, it's gonna be a two-day trip or like a one-day. It's gonna be a two-day trip, and I just decided I want to vlog it. So here we are. Yeah, it's gonna be a friend's birthday, JJ. So this is gonna be a very random video, but fuck it, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's currently 11 a.m. and I think we're gonna leave at 12. Someone's gonna pick me up. We're all gonna go in one, one car. There's gonna be five of us. I'm gonna introduce you guys to them here in a bit. Now with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's gonna be kind of random all over the place. But yeah, let's go, let's have some fun. Where's your haircut? How much? Huh? Where's, Where's your haircut? Oh, yeah, but oh I, I never got one, I can't afford it. Okay, let me introduce you guys, my boy, Juan. Juan, tell me about yourself, bro. Me? I'm 20 years old. I might look like I'm 12, I'm not. <laughs> you guys know Chris, he was in the lifting video. Yeah, I haven't lifted since then, so. I mean, I have. And he doesn't have a haircut. Yeah. Alright, then there's the birthday boy. Yeah, uh, yeah, 19 boy. Nah, it's saying. Nah, thanks. <laughs> and there's Marcus. What up? Oh man. Hey, what it do? Walmart crew, you know what I'm saying. We're about to go to the ski trip. Hell yeah, I got Dylan G, Juan, Marco, my cute ass. Hey, birthday tomorrow, 19. You know what I'm saying? At Jay Strickler 88. You know what I'm saying? 765-607. Probably shouldn't say that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Before heading out to Indy, we gotta make a stop. Oh, dude, I'm so crazy. Necessity. Alright boys, so we made it to the hotel. I'm, a, I'm about to give you guys a quick tour on where we're staying for the next two nights. And as soon as you enter, you got this place where you just lounge around. Hey, bro. Marco naked. <laughs> you already know, we got niño pollo. <laughs> Alright, so this, this is where I'm going to be doing my freaking homework because I have homework. No, that's that's awesome. JJ. That's we doing. all have homework, bro. What you that mean? is true. Alright, then you keep going here. <laughs> Fat ass mirror. You got two beds. <clears throat> TV. You cap it. <laughs> and then this nice ass bathroom. <laughs> Overall, dope ass place. Alright, boys, so the move right now is first we got to finish some homework for now. And then after that, we're going to be going to Chick fil A. <laughs> hey, you gotta essentially that one. Alright, change of plans. We're not going to, uh, to uh, Chick fil A. They decided to go to fucking Moe's, but it's whatever. Alright boys, so we just got done eating. We're currently at Ross. So my dumbass. We're going skiing. And I forgot to bring uh, gloves. So we're just trying to find some gloves right now. So the plan is after this is here. And then from here probably go to, to the Cheesecake Factory for today. And go back to the hotel because I still need to finish some quizzes. And then tomorrow morning we're going to head out to the skiing, skiing place. It's still an hour away from Indy. So that's the plan right now. No, they're right here. Yeah, that's not more like two periods because I don't have those. I don't have the leggings. Do we just see the leggings here? Boy, what? Alright, boys. <laughs> Change of plans again. We didn't find any gloves, but we're some fat asses, so we're at the Cheesecake Factory. And so we're about to eat again. And after that, what are we doing? We're going back to the hotel to chill. My phone's stuck in the truck. Uh, and then tomorrow we're doing skiing, so tonight is just a chill night. We're getting 10 inches. Oh, 10 inches. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. So we're waiting for our food, and we're on Tinder. <laughs> like, here, pull up. We both, <laughs> we both got the same girl, bro. Without exposing her, but <laughs> that shit funny. Here. 
Bro, what is this weather? Whew. So that was pretty good. So now we're heading to the hotel for the night. I don't know what we're gonna do over there. Probably, oh, I gotta finish my quiz. And probably tomorrow morning we're gonna head out to the ski. Hopefully it's open. It's freaking ugly as hell outside. But yeah, that was the first day. I'll see you guys at the hotel. All right, boys. So we made it back to the hotel. It's currently 8 p.m. It's time to work out, and luckily, we found a gym. It's not, it's not pretty big, but look at this all I got. I got two weird, you know, strange people. But it's literally one tiny room, and I think they go up to 50. But we gotta work with what we have, so probably just an arm workout. So let's go. Let's see what we can do. Never mind, change of plans. Instead of arm, I'm gonna be doing a little shoulder workout because the weights go up to 50, which is kind of perfect for shoulder press. And yeah, how long? They got dumbbells, so we're good on that. Mark out here, shredded as fuck. Look at that. God damn. He's making me miss the shreds, but all right, let's get to workout. All right, so what my plan is for this little shoulder workout, always start with a shoulder press, and after that I may do some laterals. Then after that, probably some seated rear delt ones. But I just did a drop set on the shoulder press. Sorry, I already got a little pump, but now let's do the, some laterals. gonna be it for the workout. Just did three things for shoulders and things for bicep and tricep, but just to get a little quick pump. But now, I'm the only one here right now. I feel kind of weird because people from the pool over here, they can like see you because it's like literally just a window. People were mirroring, bro. But yeah, I'm, I'm about to dip. Freaking freezing, bro. But low key, physique isn't looking so bad. Currently at 160, which is my goal for this bulk. For me, and I don't know if I should keep going up. People say I keep going up, but I think I'm gonna maintain here because I'm kind of like already kind of lost my abs. I'm gonna start cutting. I'm not sure when, either starting March or by the end of March, I'm gonna start cutting. And be on the lookout for that because I'm gonna make a whole series on it and it's gonna be so dope. But let's keep that on the low key right now. But I'm gonna go to my room, probably finish up some homework and knock out because we got a big day tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the room. We're gonna call it a night because it's already 11. They had a little bit of homework, but they didn't finish it, of course. And yeah, and it's gonna be his birthday in an hour. Uh, yeah, 19 boy. He's he's excited as hell. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna call it a night, and then we're gonna wake up tomorrow, and then probably head out to this ski resort. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Messing with my head. All right, it's uh, what time is it, Daniel? 9:34. I've been up for three hours. Daniel, what time did you wake up? Probably like four hours ago, 6 a.m. 
Or Shut the uh, fuck up. <laughs> yeah, Alright, everyone, it's okay to have a rest day. It's okay to sleep in. You don't have to be consistent with the gym every, every fucking day. I mean, in, I mean, not everyone can be David Goggins, but we can aspire to be, and that gives us character. Come look at this car. Like, the tires are literally, you can't see them. You see what? it? Can you zoom in? Go. Yeah. Dude, that thing Damn. Is a bitch a you know, it reminds me like the hole. of the Hot Wheels tracks. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And that's just like a little Hot Wheel. JJ, birthday boy. Uh, <laughs> Marco, what time did you wake up today? Uh, probably like nine. Nine. Then we got Juan, the life of the party. <laughs> Fucking Einstein. He's the only one with skiing experience, and it was pretty recent. What are we, what are we expecting today? Yeah. Um, breaking a leg. Back oh, he, we're not expecting yeah, anything besides breaking a leg. I know we're about to go to Waffle House. We're about to go eat. Right. We'll then from there, uh, we're probably gonna go to Walmart because we need to buy, or I need to buy some, yes. some sweatpants and some more gear. That came unprepared. Then from there, we're gonna go skiing. All right, shoo! <laughs> this is what we're rocking with right now. Oh yeah, I forgot you were vlogging. Yeah. Yeah. All right, boys. So Waffle House is a little bit overhyped. Wasn't? It was okay. It was okay. Is there even a hype, bro? Like, let's be honest. I don't know, to be yeah, honest. That place was shit. It honestly was, though. It was cheap, cheap for two big ass waffles, but the service just downgrades the whole fucking place. Damn, that is true. Alright, now we're gonna go skiing, so get ready for some adventures. <laughs> skiing slopes. Yes. Shut up, bro. It sounds like a clown horn, literally. Alright, let's go skiing, boys. All right, bro, how does it feel to be 19? Feels good, you know what I'm saying? I got the bros with me on my 19th birthday going snowboarding and shit. It's kind of sketch because all the ice and shit. Desert, why do you always sound like you got mucus in your nose? <laughs> You're like rice cooking, like, you know what I'm saying? Boy, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys, we made it. I see little people. It's right over there. You got, you know, oh, there's a, oh, we made it, boys. You got think of that. Hell yeah, Blondie is a mom. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> boys, we just made it. Look at this. That looks kind of scary, but yeah, we still gotta check in. I don't know if I'm about that, bro. You bought it? Hell yeah, of course. I don't know if I'm about it, but <sighs> let's go check in. Alright. So we got the boots on for first. We got a signed paper. This is saying if we get injured, it's not gonna be our fault. So yeah, so first we gotta sign that, and then we're good to go. We ready. We ready. Let the fun begin. All right, so first we're starting with the baby one. Nah, just kidding. We already did that one right there. It's scary. All right, Marco, go ahead. I'll push it. <laughs> okay, quick change of plan. So I went, I went through my first round, and it's kind of a bad idea to bring the camera with me because I have a pocket for it, but it's still gonna get all uh, wet. So I'm probably gonna leave this in a in the locker. For now, I'm gonna leave this here, and I'm gonna. Record with my phone. Because, yeah, I don't want to risk it. He's saying, baby. Go, go. And oh. I think I'm regretting this decision. Like, this is what has to go down. So you have to take a sharp left here. Then you go all the way down. I'm gonna die out here, bro. All right, wish me luck. All right, boys, so it's been like two hours since we started snowboarding. Honestly, it's fun. It's, it's like kind of difficult, but you get the hang of it, but we're still not good. Yeah, we're not we're not good enough to like turn and keep our balance, but we're getting there. Look at that. 
like, I think the worst part is just getting over the fact that <coughs> you're gonna get hurt or like you're gonna land and it's gonna temporarily hurt. Yeah, we're probably gonna get injured, but. Yeah, like I really fucked up my left ankle and my right wrist is just kind of, it, it's fucked. But we still got like probably an hour or two hours, so yeah. fuck it. done skiing but Marco, JJ and Juan are still still snowboarding. Still but, slope, but now that we're done bro, what do, what do you think about it? What's your experience? Uh, it was uh I was indifferent about it. At first I was really excited and then you know as I got to ski and ride the slopes I understood that it's gonna be fucking difficult to actually get good at it so that kinda discouraged me and, yeah, we kind of we kind of got pissed because we see all these people that are like literally good at it, like like three, three, three and four year olds, bro. Like yeah, three and four year olds like skiing as if they've been doing it for twenty years. So yeah, we kind of got jealous, but we just gotta wait for them, and then we're gonna be out of here. My boy, hey, my man. What you say? You talk so much. <laughs> All right, boys. Just like that, we're done. <laughs> Fuck, that was scary. Margot, what's your overall opinion on uh, snowboarding? Good. Everybody was bustling and uh, trying their best, trying to fall, but. I think we had fun, every one of us. This is a good yeah. trip. So I'm, I'm ask uh, JJ's and Juan's opinion because I already asked Chris's and Marco's. But we're going to do that later because it's cold as fuck. Yeah. So now where are we going? Uh, back to the truck and going to the hotel. Over there? And then no, that's... we got uh, missions to do. Oh, true. We got some missions <laughs> to do too. Oh, but we can't say that here. Oh, where is it? Alright, let's go. PG-13. It's, it's a video so I can just cut it up. Let's stop being. Stay away. I know you had a back to the hotel literally we're all really tired it's literally i think it's 12 40. we uh went to taco bell got some things and now we're just chilling i think we're gonna watch a movie and then i got the chicken quesadilla and the powerball and they got some cookies over there so a powerball quesadilla, quesadilla powerball oh i'm sorry i'm mexican <laughs> yeah so i'll see you guys tomorrow Alright boys, it is currently the next day, 10.20, yesterday was, yesterday was fun, <laughs> it was kind of weird but it was fun, but we gotta get out of here before 12 or else they're gonna charge us like more money, but yeah we're just getting ready, getting packed, clean this mess up, and then we're gonna head out, we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A for breakfast, we're gonna stop there, and then from there we're gonna go straight to Lafayette, and yeah that's gonna be the end of it, so... I'll see you guys at Chick-fil-A. And I forgot to ask uh, Juan's and JJ's opinion on the skiing trip. What was your experience, bro? Did you like it or not? Yeah, I hurt my head, bro, but that's just lit, you know? Like, kind of white. Yeah, 
kind of better like it because it was for your birthday. Oh, what's your opinion on skiing, bro? Oh, this was his second time skiing, so he kind of knows more about it. Oh yeah, he literally bruised his ass, bro. <laughs> that one, it was worth it though. I was, I was good. Oh, after, I think yeah. we should do it probably next year. I think, and then after, the after summer we should probably do like a. I think we should have like vacation plans. Well, we get it. Gonna get food. Next up. Fine. The best part was getting food, and then time to get rubs. Chris yelling at me every day. kind of far it's like a five minute walk so we're gonna walk to the truck and it's freaking cold bro it's like 10 degrees got a shotgun boy hey yo that looks familiar bro you're not getting a shotgun bro i called it my baby. Alright, let's see my baby. What I've been through. So when I spend only for pencils, traumatized to be so I'm just trying to be somebody in the wind truth. We're not gonna check away anymore. We're gonna go to Popeyes. Cause I don't think none of us have ever been here. So try something different, you know? I'll give you my review because they, you know, everyone hypes it up too much, but let's see how it is. Hey. Back secured boys. Alright boys. I'm gonna cover it. I got the classic chicken sandwich with the mac and cheese because you know that's what you get when you've never had it. He got the same thing. We're gonna try it. They compare this a lot to Chick-fil-A, so let's see if this is actually better than Chick-fil-A. Alright, get out. Alright, let's see. This is how it's looking right now. Okay. It's good, but yeah. it's not as good as Chick-fil-A. Are you serious? Right. Actually, it's pretty good. I don't know. Hello. Damn. I'll go ahead and say this is better. Nah. In my opinion, Chick-fil-A just has that, like, unique taste, yeah. bro. I feel like this is, like, it tastes like you would expect a chicken sandwich Chicken sandwich to taste like this. Like, Out of ten, it, it is I good though. Eight. Yeah, eight. That is pretty good. Before I stick it in, I smack her ass. You and all your friends have thought that Billy Trump. You doing your thing, baby, live it up. You showing that you don't give a fuck. All right, so now that we're here chilling, eating, and talking. What is the highlight of the trip, bro? Big ass hill, go fast, going back and forth with my boy Marco. Like, yes, sir. Inspirational. The first, the first hill, bro. Oh I've never been yeah. Skiing. So going down, I was excited and shit, and I wiped out. Completely underestimated uh, the whole skiing. When JJ got fucked up in the hill for the first time, yeah, I felt so fucked up. Oh yeah. You only got a confession. What was your favorite part, pretty boy? Just leaving uh, our little city, Lafayette. Just hanging out with all the friends. Too. Give me a little vacation. Just you, you snowboarding with my friends. And I think honestly the little moments are what I liked a lot. But snowboarding was fun as fuck. Well. I feel like I got the- Shut out. the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home, boys. Let's go! Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.